Okay guys, well today I wanted to show you something new I got for my uh, Ruger Mini 14. It's a bipod adapter and uh, for those, those of you not familiar, I have a previous video where I go through uh, my uh, Henry, which I love, and the Ruger Mini 14, which is really dear to me. Uh, I just, it's great. Uh, especially because, as you know, we're in New York and uh, we don't really have the Second Amendment in New York. So we got to do our best to make things interesting and to make it great. So whatever you can add to it is really welcome. So I got this. The, one of the things I, you know, because of the limitations and uh, of what you can have, so uh, we keep it legal. And uh, but there are things you can add. You can add the adapter at the bottom, which I, I purchased, so that you can put a bipod on there. Um, what's good about the Ruger Mini 14 is that it's legal. Uh, it's le you know there are different versions of it. Uh, without any features, if it's featureless, you know, no screw on choke um, in the front, I think that's an issue. I mean, you can't put on, I think you can't have a screw because you, you can't fit a silencer, but basically, um, and with, with all the other limitations being met, I have the model number on my other video of what you, uh, which one is legal in New York, but uh, just to show you, so the basic idea is that the, um, the bipod adapter uh, attaches over here to the point where uh, the strap hooks on. So let's just see if I can open this. I have a bulldog strap on here. Oh, push it. Push it. You rotate it, and we'll just take it off so we can see. Come on, buddy. got it on but okay so as you can see that clip oops that clip over here is where it attaches to so let's see put that down open up the box Not much in there. I got this from Primary Arms, which is a nice website. Okay, Harris. Just so you can see. So let's see. Uh, we got to open this up. It comes with a set of instructions. And uh, the bipod I have is actually not the Harris one. And I'm hoping it's compatible. I think it's called the CV Life 6 to 9 inch. Just so you can see. Can you see that? CV Life 6 to 9 inches. Tacked return with adapter. All right. Let's get back there. Okay, so I think it's a, it's a copy of the Harris. It, it only costs 25 bucks. All right, so let's figure this out. Instructions for attachment. The, instruction, the instructions suck. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so we got this piece, the screw, and the attachment point for the bipod that I recognize just a piece of metal so let's see how this goes it's something like this well this is this nipple's got to stick out this fits Kind of clips at the bottom, I think.
me just play with it and uh, we'll see. Okay, so I did play with it and the instructions are terrible, but so I thought I'd give you a close up of how it works. This is how you attach it. You have to pick this up, up. These two teeth go underneath and hook in. You have to like jiggle it and then this goes up is there. So it fits in, but you have to like fit that in first and then get that in. Uh, there's a set screw at the bottom there. My complaint is that a longer set screw would have given it more resistance. It's fine. It, it, it keeps it in. It's a little wobbly, but it's fine. Okay, so I wanted to recap to show you. I was playing with it. Uh, it's not perfect. It does seem to work, um, but just to show you exactly, because uh, it's the, the instructions are useless. I mean, you can't even see any pictures there as to what that is. But uh, this is the way it works. Let's go through it. This is the position the clip has to be in. Got it? It's going to be back. This is how it fits. The teeth go over. They don't actually fit into this, from what I see. They don't. Uh, they stay out like that. Okay. Um, this screw could be longer. It does barely work. It works. This does not go into that line, which you think it would. It just didn't work for me. Okay, but I will tell you, it, it's very solid now. And uh, we'll take it further. But just so you could see that, because it's not as easy as it seems on the internet. Okay. And then it provides a clip over here for the uh, strap to strap into. Or I guess a replacement uh, strap clip. It's best to do it vertically. You'll make the most sense of it. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Let's see what we can do. Now, as far as the... Uh, they recommend the Harris bipod, obviously. I didn't get a Harris. I got this CV Life, which was only 25 bucks. So how could you go wrong with that? Can't. Okay, so let's see how this goes. So yeah. You open it up, and hmm. So there are two options. You could either clip it, either clip it on there, or I think I took this saw, I put this on, and you can hook this directly to this little bipod adapter at the bottom, which may be better. But with this track, you could easily take it on and off. Hmm. So, just to show you. Can do it this way. set it up okay so I've taken off that uh, this part of it and I think it's just going to attach directly to the nib okay screw that on Take a look at it, clean up.
I can't tell the difference between the Harris and this CV Life one, which is really heavy duty and nice. Great. This hooks up to here. with that. Oh, I see. You gotta go that way. I'll get the strap back on. But basically, let me give you a view of it. Clear up some of this garbage. Now, you have a bipod adapter. Perfect. This is very solid. Not a bad thing. Okay, so let's take a look at it a little more. Okay, so first of all, the bipod adapter from Harris. Well, or the, the copy from CV Life, both of them. Push the buttons. And it goes out to about nine inches. Not bad. That looks pretty good. Get the strap on. It's no big deal. Just get the strap here. Good. I gotta play with this, but uh, okay. Basically, that's that. Okay, so now just to show you, it's really not bad when you start adding things to this. Not bad, right? So what's great about this is right, it's not an AR-15 and I know you have much more flexibility in other states, but without having the limitations of the AR-15, uh, such as in New York, you have, you have no evil features as they call it, or else a bolted in uh, magazine, and I refuse to have a bolted in magazine so I'd rather just go with this, which is pretty good. Can't complain. So what is the cost of this? Well, uh, the part from Primary Arms, I think I paid roughly $30 or so. It's pretty cheap. And then the CV Life uh, stand was about $25. So about $55, you're getting a pretty tactical looking uh, addition to your rifle. Okay, so I think that's as far as we'll take it today, but I did want to show you a couple of other things, but we'll have to move some of this away. And I just want to talk to you briefly about targets. You can see my red target there. Let's just clear things up. So just to leave you with a couple of thoughts. First of all, I wanted to show you, I have this uh, target from uh, uh, Shoot Steel, which is awesome. I don't remember, it was like on sale, maybe $130. I painted them up because uh, my son loves this stuff. But basically, this is AR500 steel. It's not AR550 steel. That's just the light I'm using. But uh, it actually works really well. These are from the Henry. No big deal. 
obviously can handle it. And this is from the Ruger. You can see it's not from, I think it's about 150 feet. It's not that far. And uh, you can see the steel. Even then, the steel did well, except for that area a little indented. But who cares? Listen, if you get a couple of years use out of it, it's fine. So I'll give you that. And uh, this is interesting. This is actually, this wood is some special wood that a friend gave me from some outdoor work. And it's so solid, it weighs about three, it's so dense, it weighs about three times what uh, two by four weighs. So I've actually had to put in, um, I had to cut it with a, uh, an angle grinder because when I used the saw, it set the uh, dust catcher bag on fire. It was so hot. And uh, just to show you, when I hit it with the uh, 22, it just, it's probably still in there. This one there, you can see it just, it barely damaged it because it's, this thing is as dense as uh, like concrete. Any event, it's great. Okay, so that's a steel target. What other targets should you use? Uh, and I wanted to show you what I've used here. So a great thing for targets is uh, bowling pins, right? Everyone's familiar with bowling pins. They're fantastic. So what's great about them is, I don't know if you're familiar, that they're, they're uh, wood, pieces of wood that are glued together, very dense, and then covered with this uh, plastic coated. And they're USB-C approved. The bottom is plastic. So uh, these are great for targets, but how do you get them? Do you... Uh, do you buy them on eBay? You could. I found that what you do is go to your local bowling alley and ask them for some pins. Uh, and uh, what I would suggest is don't call them up and tell them you, you're looking for targets, you want to shoot. Don't talk about that at all. Tell them you need the pins for like an art project. Okay? An art project. They'll be happy to give it to anyone who... Uh, is uh, needs the pins for an art project. And so you'll get them, they, they give it to you for free. They usually have a couple of these uh, beat up ones. Um, you call them in advance to make sure they have some and then just go pick them up. They will give it to you for free. So uh, you need a good art project, obviously. My art project is uh, penguins are people too, having something to do with global warming. Anyway, so just to show you, you have a uh, piece of cable to put a like a U retainer to to there. Drill a hole. Put another U there. Cover all the sharp edges with tape, and then come on, that's art. Any event, you can just hang this from a tree. You pick a big tree limb, and you just hang it. And the great part of it is that when you hit it, it moves it like with a 22 a 556 five, will shred it so if they give you a junky one you could use that for the 556 five, but the other ones it'll just bang it and move it and then so the more you hit it the more difficult it is to hit because it'll be moving around so it's really a lot of fun and it's free basically except for a couple of clips and cable so that's my recommendation to you bowling pins are great so enjoy, I hope you got something out of this. Um, if you have an idea with your, what you did with your Ruger Mini 14, tell me, I'd be happy to learn. Uh, any ideas are good. I've done a lot of modifications on mine. You can see that in the prior video. And I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching.